Everybody, welcome back to the Iron Oak Sawmill. We're going to continue on with round two of stacking the monster maple slabs. Got it. <laughs> These things are huge. 400 pounds, something like that. Beautiful grain. You've seen them so far. You're about to see the rest of them. And uh, they are actually all stacked now, stickered and covered and out of the weather and drying. But check out this video. You get to see the rest of them. You're not going to want to miss it, guys. This is beautiful stuff. Definitely beautiful stuff. Um, so, let's get to it. slab number 12 and uh, you can see it it's still got a lot of ambrosia in here the saw blades seem to be dra dragging in a lot of dirt on this one probably because of these crotches here but oh wow look at this coming up hang on a second guys all kinds of wow what kind of figure is that I don't know curl crotch something or other <laughs> That looks cool right through here. You see that? Yes, you can. Of course, we still have our bark inclusion down the middle. And then up here, picking up a little bit of spalting. Let me sip up here on the pallet because I'm basically doing this blind. Oh, wow. It does look good up here. Out here on the end, picking up some spalting there. Continuation of that leader coming out this side of the log. Another larger one down there as well. And this nice looking crotch figure coming up through here. Nice solid bark inclusion. Over here, man, that's a lot to offer. This stuff is, oh, phew. Man, every time, you know, I know we always talk about black walnut, but guys, this, this is, wow. <laughs> This is good. And look at this right here. Just right around where this branch was. Just that little bit of compression figure there. A little bit out here. Just every little detail. Imagine sitting at this as a table and just looking down into this grain. Man. And it's just the ambrosia. Curl all the way along here. Compression figure along here. This is good stuff. I mean, yeah, like I said, we talk about black walnut all the time, but I'll tell you what, that other big maple we did and this one, this is amazing looking stuff. Well, let's go ahead and get into the next one. Slab number 13 coming up. guys here we are on slab number 13 yep. maybe i shouldn't be up here number 13 yeah. i don't know <laughs> but man again lots of this is actually showing up a lot more over here this curl here on the left and this bark inclusion runs all the way down through just about picking up that curl again and the staining out here a little bit of dark staining on that half Coming back through here, this bullseye is getting larger as well as this one. And like I said, these are going to be great opportunities for some bow ties in those as well. Out here in the end, this is about the most spalting I've seen so far. That's really cool looking there. Again, this is this is now starting to be mostly the leader that came off of this side of the tree, coming straight up at the camera. Come around the uh, on the uh, other half here again, some more spalting bark inclusion over here as well and still the ambrosia down here 
I mean, I've seen logs with more ambrosia than this, but hey, they're not this big either. <laughs> Come down in here, you got uh, this nice coloring down here. Now this end is wet, so I'm thinking the whole end looks like this. And this looks like, this looks like some kind of, yeah, I bet you this is more curl slash quilting in here. That's nice. Man. I'm liking these a lot. <laughs> Let's get on. We got to get this one stacked. We still got six, seven to go yet. Seven pieces to go yet. Here we are on slab number 14. Now I got it right. Yep. Man, there is some really wild looking figure down in here. That's quilting. And they just, yeah, I think it is. Man, that is awesome looking. You still have the ambrosia. In fact, the ambrosia is getting a lot heavier. Now they're getting closer to the outside of the log again. A little bit of a bark inclusion over here along the edge. Swing around here. Just try not to get dizzy. And this bark inclusion going up through. Continuation of the one is kind of diagonal through this log. Here, this bullseye is getting larger. All well, this one's starting to get a little bit more elongated as this branch came out in this direction. Wow, look at this. Picking up some nice spalting up in here. More ambrosia. Fit, uh, and then we got this. Curl along here, compression figure, whatever you want to call it. This bit of mineral staining out along here and a little bit of spalting. Man, could watch this. And this looks this good without even putting any water on it. Can you imagine when the finish hits this? It's gonna look amazing. Well, I wish you guys could see up here. Oh, tough luck. Here you go. Maybe in a couple years you get to see this one. Not sweeping the floor, let's go. All right, slab number 15, slab number 15. And to me, this is definitely quilting down here. This looks nice. Right down this butt end. Now this is getting a lot narrower. I think we're down to about two foot on the, at the smallest point down here, two and a half foot. But what we have is a really nice coloration in there. Pardon my big feet. Again, curl up the sides. Wow, all the way up through there. The bark inclusion again, that's starting to work its way over. And ambrosia, ambrosia, ambrosia. Huge bullseye here. Yeah, that's even that's starting to crack already, but I don't want to put a sealer right here, not in the middle of the slab. Uh, I don't want that to interfere with finishing later on. So if it cracks, that's going to get some bow ties and look awesome. Picking up some nice curl around here. Man. And again, the ambrosia all the way out to the end. And here's that really long, really long uh, leader coming off this side. So. Number 16, still got a ton of quilting down on this end. And that just breaks off into some curl here. Our bark inclusion continues and some very long ambrosia markings in here. Six, eight inches long and spinning around here. So I don't, so I don't back off the slab. 
ignore my footprints i apologize for those but a huge bullseye here developing a nice bark inclusion just above that with uh, all kinds of curl just below here get a little closer you can see that and coming out here oh, i missed some solid dust here got some curl right along that edge and then it's just a whole bunch of ambrosia popping out on the top end of this very nice down here on the left side again ignore my uh footprints <laughs> just a lot of crazy figure going on man love this stuff but all right let's get off of the top of this one and get that one set up here Vaulting, mineral staining, bark inclusions, you've seen them all. It's, I don't know, we're getting bored of seeing this stuff, guys? I know I'm not. Man, tons of ambrosia streaking going to there. Let me get around here. Man, <laughs> a little hairy up here. Well, if something happens, it'll be on camera and maybe it'll go viral. <laughs> <laughs> anyway it'd be nice if i could survive it though <laughs> tons of compression cur and curl along this side uh we've got again great big bullseye here there was a nice leader coming off this side and uh making our way down through here we've still got a bunch of different kinds of compression figure and curl going all through this don't mind the dirty muddy footprints we got some darker mineral staining popping up in here. Again, the curl on the ends, quilting, and uh, a little bit of spalting there as well. Looks really nice. What do we got? We got four more to go, guys. We got to get busy. We've been at this for a while. We got to get this one stacked and get done. Try to do this without sweeping it down on the Deb's head. Definitely got some amazing looking figure going on here. Guys, I'm calling this quilting. If I'm incorrect, please let me know. But this is, it looks like the ribs and then what would appear to be pockets in the middle, the high part of the rib is quilting. And if I'm wrong, let me know. But this looks like quilting. And, and yeah, right down through here, there's some as well. Then here you're over just in there, the regular curl. Man, a little bit of spalting as usual. Still even a little bit of ambrosia on this end. You spin you around. The bark inclusion is coming to an end over here. Tons of curl along this edge, a compression figure. More quilting up to the middle. We've got ambrosia showing up again on this end and around this great big bullseye. That looks awesome. And coming around to here again still have the uh the compression figure or curl on the edges and up in here some really cool looking stuff yeah. going on at the top of this that's all compression figure where this branch came out just compression figure from a different angle and then coming in down here tons of ambrosia and every single one of these slabs has so much to offer Amazing looking stuff. Lab number 18. And this is number 18? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. We'll be marking the ends of these, right? Alright, let's get on to number 19.
Wow. This is nothing but quilting on here. I know you don't want to throw water on them, but I got I to gotta show that. Oh, yeah. That is cool. All right, guys, rather than climbing up at the top of the stack, throwing water around up there and me having to clean up the slab up there, we're going to do it down here. But we had to show you this one. This is... Money? All right, yeah, go ahead, Deb. Let's, let's just show them what we got here. Look at that is... That is quilting curl craziness going on here. <laughs> Man, I, I'm, I'm just, you walk by this and it changes dimension. It's weird. I mean, that's what quilting does. That's what curl does. But this is extra heavy in here. This is almost the, uh, the top slab off of here, too. And, of course, loaded with ambrosia down here. But this, this is why, this is why we threw the water on this one. This is absolutely crazy here. Throwing a little spalting in there, throwing a little mineral staining in there. And with all of this curl quilting look going on here, all the way down through. Pick it up a little bit here on the left. It fades away around this one knot here. And then you got this crazy looking curl out along the edges. And then right into this huge bullseye with... Yeah. <laughs> you you can see it. It's, it's just a crazy looking grain on this all together and then of course you got the ambrosia in there huge bullseye this stuff is amazing looking hopefully it's coming through better on the gopro than on the regular on the other camera because this just man three-dimensional is what it looks like guys very cool all right let's get this one up there we got two more to go guys next to the last one here for slabs we do have one cat piece to put on here on the end of this one that's the one below it the end of this one's in the shop it came off there no reason to stack it on here does not need any support above it but anyway second to last or next to last slab this stack is getting way too high <laughs> but we got a really huge bullseye here i think a really neat uh like a peninsula or island table. Lots of uh, ambrosia around it. And just all kinds of like a sunburst pattern. Throw a little uh, spalting in here on the end. Nice. Looks like what we threw water on just on the last slab. Just a ton of quilting, curl craziness going on here. Beautiful piece. And these started getting smaller as we went up, of course. Uh, we're down to about... I mean, this this small end, maybe about 18 inches, 16, 18 inches. And the spot I'm sitting on top of where that big bullseye is, is maybe about three foot across, two and a half, three foot across. But cool to the very end. Let me get a look at this last one over here. Because <laughs> I don't want to climb back up here when we get to, uh, when we get this up here. But again, the last of the crazy quilted curly stuff all the way down through here. And again, the sunburst patterns all around that huge bullseye where that leader was coming off the top end of this log. How many do we need? This is very cool. Very cool. That's the last one up here, guys. The other one's just a cat piece, which is leaning on the front of the shed over here. So we're going to go ahead and get that, get this one up here. And this is max lift on the, on the uh, tractor. We maxed it out. This, this one will fit. You should be able to at least pick up the cat piece and slide it over to the top. 
but we'll get it up here. Well, there you have it, guys. All 21s stacked, stickered, covered, and out of the weather. Um, wow, is all I can say. <laughs> you guys saw them. The water pops on those on those few that we did. Awesome. Uh, the ambrosia's popping. Got a little bit of spalting in there. That figure. The curl in those. And <sighs> wow. And the fact that. Uh, you know, that's a single slab table right there. That's, those are beautiful, beautiful. Could not have done it one without Deb, who was already in house, getting her stuff together. And of course, where are we at here? The Kubota 2501. That thing, we had that maxed out. It was all the way up. It couldn't go any higher. And uh, it managed to get those picked up, stacked up, and made the job go really well. So. Um, I think that'll about wrap it up, guys. Hey, if, you, uh, if you've if you been coming out every week to support us, we definitely appreciate everybody coming back out. Love the comments. Love the questions. Please keep going with them. If you're new here and, and uh, if you like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The like and share as well. You know, share with some friends. Um, when you hit the subscribe button, notification bell pops up. Click on that. Select all. You'll get a notification every time we put a video out here on YouTube, which is at least... We try to do once a week, okay? We definitely appreciate it. If you do that, help support the channel. Also, Iron and Oak Sawmill t-shirts and other merch. Hopefully we have it in the, in the channel by now. We'll have a link down in the description for that. Check that out. Um, what else? Also down in the description, you'll see some affiliate links for the tools that we use here on the mill. We'll try to, if we miss a tool, let us know. We'll be sure to put it down in the description. But uh, those links take you over to Amazon, or affiliate links. And if you purchase through there, whether you purchase that tool or something else, it'll benefit the channel for a small amount. But anything that comes from that goes right back into the channel so we can grow our content here for you guys to watch out there, okay? Um, I think that'll about wrap it up. But if you have any questions about what we're doing here, what we're doing with these big boys, <laughs> and uh, or any of the tools we're using, how we're sawing, uh, the firewood, the splitter, whatever, be sure to put it down in the comment section. We'll be glad to help you out, and as always, Thanks everybody for stopping out and we'll see you at our next time.